Don't feel like making a whole apple pie, but need to satisfy that craving, especially around the holidays? Try these apple pie cookies. They are easier to make and will definitely remind you of a cinnamony apple pie. To start, we'll core and peel three to four Granny Smith apples, organic if you can find them. Remove any seeds and slice them into thin slices or even better, some chunks. In a separate bowl, combine some sugar, some cinnamon, and some cornstarch. The sugar creates the liquid and the cornstarch thickens up the liquid. Give it a nice stir to combine it and then pour it over the apples in the pot. Give this a good stir to spread the cinnamon sugar mixture throughout the apples and then place a lid on it and put it on the stove. We're gonna cook this for about 15 minutes over low heat. Remove the lid and give it a stir every once in a while and you'll notice that the liquid is starting to uh, thicken up. While these apples are cooking, it must be time for chef joke number one. Here we go. How do you make an apple turnover? Push it downhill. After cooking the apples for 15 minutes, this is what they should look like. You'll notice that they are very nice and soft and tender and they are ready to go. We're gonna take them off the heat and just let them sit for a few minutes to cool down. In a medium-sized bowl, we're gonna add two cups of Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, some baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Give that a nice stir and we'll set it aside. Now we're gonna take some coconut oil and we're gonna place it in the microwave to melt it slightly. You don't have to melt it as much as I did, but it still works. Then we'll add a half a cup of sugar and blend it with a hand mixer until the sugar dissolves and it gets slightly fluffy. Now we're going to add a third of that flour mixture we just stirred up to the bowl and a third of the milk that we have. Now take your hand mixer and blend this in until it's just incorporated. What you don't want to do is over mix it. Be sure to use a spatula to scrape down the sides of the bowl so that all the flour gets mixed in. Now we'll mix another third of the flour mixture and the milk. you'll start to notice the dough getting a little thick. Now for the rest of the flour mixture and the milk. Now that dough is gonna get pretty thick at this point, so make sure you don't over mix it. Now take a nice big spoon and scrape the edges just to make sure that all the flour gets mixed in. Now that we have our dough, we can start scooping cookies. Oh, and don't forget to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, I'm using a scoop here. It's about a good tablespoon of dough. Not too big, but just enough. Shape your dough so that you can flatten it out, and that way it has a nice little reservoir to hold the apple filling. And if you notice the dough getting a bit sticky after you make a few, uh, you can dampen your fingertips just a little bit with some water, and it helps the dough to keep from sticking to your fingers. So using a spoon, go ahead and, and load up each cookie with about maybe two teaspoons of apple pie filling. Mound it up a little bit so that you have enough filling to go with your cookie. It's all about proportions. Here's what you want them to look like. All right, we're gonna pop these into a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for exactly 12 minutes. You just might have some apple pie filling left over. What do you do? Well, in which case, the cook gets to do some quality control. While our cookies are cooking, I guess that means it's time for chef joke number two. So why did the apple pie go to the dentist? Because it needed a filling. 
Our cookies are done after 12 minutes and what we're looking for is a golden brown bottom. Place the cookies on a wire rack to cool completely and then you can place them in a container with a tight fitting lid. If you eat the cookies warm and right out of the oven, their texture will be crunchy and chewy. But after you put them in a container with a tight fitting lid, they'll soften up considerably. I guarantee these will satisfy any apple pie craving you have. Now if you want to try another cookie for the holidays, you really got to try my Nutella stuffed snowball cookies. You will love them. They are incredible. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash the like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. We'll see you next week for another rockin' recipe.